Hello everyone, I'm Allie and I am a domestic wannabe and welcome back to my channel. I am currently doing a little office spruce up, I like to say. My office has seen many, many transformations on this channel. In fact, you could say that it was cleaning out my first office and trying to pull everything together that really launched what I do on this channel. You can go back and find it here. Um, I just kind of wanted to document how out of control my office was back in the day um, when I left my MLM. So I had already made that decision back then and um, I got it all cleaned up, got so much cleared out of it and then didn't really like the space anymore because it just held too many memories. So then I did another video where I moved everything. I mean, I switched four rooms around, moving my office up to this space. And so far, I'm telling you, I have loved it. It has been a very good transition. But as you can see and you have heard me say, I'm a piler. So I'm able to put my piles close by in my office and out of our main living space. I love that I have moved it to the space. Recently, I have added how many piles I can create. I've added responsibilities to what I've already been taking care of, um, you know, for our household, for all the things that I do in my office for work. I run a family business with my family. I also um, have my own business and I do content creation as well. So I, I have, I'm juggling a lot and I also use my office to do our family bills, things like that. So I do a lot in this space. And now I have added just helping out my um, dad with, some of his paperwork and finalizing some paperwork for my mom. So there's lots of extra, extra things coming into the office. And the space just stopped working for me when it became too much. <laughs> it became too much stuff. So the first thing that I decided I needed to do was just start to organize the paperwork into, you guessed it, piles. Because yes, I'm a piler and that's what I do and I'm not going to change myself. But I also have quite a few like files, uh, file organizers that I use for, for all of our businesses. So keeping everything organized is really important. And I am really just trying my best to keep it all together. One of the things I thought would be a great transition and a great help is getting wall organizers that I had my husband put up behind the door so they're not like super ugly, but they will contain the several different categories of paperwork I have coming into this room. So any new paperwork goes into those sorters and all the old paperwork just needs to be gone through. The other problem I saw with this office is I hated looking at the wall. Now I sat through a feng shui class once, a few things stuck out to me and I know I've shared a few that um, she I had learned in that one class on this channel but one of the things about her office is she said you should never have your back to the door. So I have never sat by the window in this office and you shouldn't have the back to the door because it's it it doesn't become a power position and you want your office to be a power position. Anyway, I stopped caring about that. I don't want to stare at the wall anymore. I am now sitting at a beautiful window looking at a beautiful apple tree that is in that is bloomed right now and it's gorgeous and I'm watching birds and bees and it's it's just a great transition. So, moving my desk where you see I moved it has paid off big time and then I moved kind of a extra work desk off to the side so I would have space to put piles. <laughs> I hope you see the humor in that as I do because I am desperately trying to get through these piles and this right here it was filmed April 20th. Today is May 15th and you're gonna see in just a little bit I had to continue to work on this today so the office is a never ending struggle for me but it is nowhere where it used to be back in my Tupperware days. We also have quite a bit of uh, or I have quite a few new plants from that people had gifted us and I am uh, desperately desperately trying to make sure I keep take good care of them. I don't really know what I'm doing. I've never really been a plant person but I'm going to become one because I'm going to make sure they last for uh, as long as I can. And th then there is Mr. Clown. Now I have not told you guys about Mr. Clown 
But he was at my mom's funeral. <laughs> he was on one of the tables because he actually just holds quite a bit of significance for us. And um, one of the things I want to do as I move on in my grief is sharing <laughs> sharing just fun stories about my mom. And one of them is all about that clown. So that clown um, was purchased for my niece, who is now 21 years old. Before she was born, my dad found it at a garage sale and he was so excited. He said, I'm going to give this clown to the baby. And my mom and I were like, um, no, you can't. <laughs> that is such a scary clown. You cannot give that clown to the baby. And I was, and we were just laughing and we were joking. And I lived with my parents at this time. It was actually right before I went to my first year of college. And I told, I told him, I'm like this, that is the kind of clown that comes alive in the middle of the night and you hear footsteps all over your house. And we were laughing and laughing. We thought it was so funny. Anyway, later that night, my parents had gone to bed and I <laughs> went through their bathroom and made little like footstep noises. And I'm gonna try and do it on my desk here, but it was like, <laughs> like footstep noises across their floor. And my mom was like, oh, David, did you hear that? And I just took the clown and peeked it around the corner of their bathroom <laughs> until they saw it. And we, oh my gosh, the, we laughed so hard. Anyway, the next day, um, I found the clown in my bed like tucked in when I went to get into bed it was under the covers and then I took it and I put it in um the coffee where the coffee mugs were and laid it across the coffee mugs so she'd have to see like she'd open up the cabinet and he was just laying there and we just we did it the rest of that summer and then I went off to college and she mailed the clown to me dressed up for Halloween and the box was filled with candy wrappers and his face was smeared with chocolate and he had a note that said um, that took a lot longer than I thought and um, I had to eat all of your chocolate and it was just, I mean we just we were it was so cute and so thoughtful and it just made my day when I was kind of feeling homesick at college then I took the clown and um uh, I took the clown and then I all the stuff I mailed back to my mom was I made like a jail shirt and I took um, pictures of him like he had gone to jail what are those pictures called headshots not headshots um, like they have an inmate inmate number intake sh intake photos I don't I, I luckily I've never been arrested so I don't actually know what these shots are called but um oh what are they called oh anyway I took pictures like that and I um, made a whole like file from the police station of the town that I went to school in and I mailed that to her. Um, I sent a warrant from the police department to her house saying um, they were looking for Mr. Clown and if she, they suspect he will be in contact with her. And I mean, it was very elaborate and it just got bigger and bigger. And then I mailed him back with, you know, he was wearing the, a striped shirt, you know, black and white striped shirt, like he was in jail. And it had a note in there saying, you got to hide me. I'm on the lamb. Like it was just, we, we got so creative and then she would mail him back to me doing something silly. And then I would mail him back to her or I would give him to my give him to my brother to put in her front seat of her car. We did it for years. I'm talking for over 20 years. This clown was a part of our lives and it was always humorous and the whole family got involved in it and people loved hearing the stories about what the clown was up to and he celebrated her birthday with her and we just we we had so much fun. He helped me and my husband announce that we were pregnant with our son. Um, on Valentine's Day, He happened. we happened to have a family dinner, and he showed up with a cake that announced we were pregnant. Um, so it's just the clown holds very special significance, and um, these are just really the, the stories I don't want to forget. And... They're the stories that made my mom so special because she could turn anything like a creepy clown into something that we all smile about because she made memories of a creepy clown <laughs> memorable. 
and something that I will always hold on to. And I just wanted to share a little piece of my mom with you. So that is why I have Mr. Clown in my office right now. And um, I have to continue working in the office. There is tons and tons of stuff that needs to be done still. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep pushing, even if it's just 15 minutes a day, because we all know 15 minutes a day can make huge, huge, huge moves in your home, especially when it comes to decluttering and getting things organized. It's all it takes, 15 minutes a day. And right now I'm going to just be focusing on my office for 15 minutes a day. That's what I've got for you today. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that you have a wonderful day.